Joining us now, Donald Trump spokesperson Liz Harrington. Good to see you again, Liz. Um, what is the position of Team Trump on what's going to happen and what it means? Well, you just had to twist yourself into knots, Chris, to even make this uh, make sense, because it doesn't. The only logical explanation is this is a get Trump operation. It makes no logical sense. It makes no rational sense. It certainly makes no legal sense. It's a totally lawless operation. And it's not just happening in New York. It's happening in Georgia. It's happening in D.C. They're using taxpayer funding to go after and harass our political campaign and their number one political opponent, Donald J. Trump. So President Trump has been very clear. He's totally innocent. There's even what they're accusing of him. There's no crime. And as you just laid out, it would be a misdemeanor at that. And again, he's innocent, so it doesn't even matter. But what they're doing here is perverting the law to try to take out their number one political opponent. And in the United States of America, we do not raid the homes of our presidents. We do not arrest our number one political opposition. But that's what they do in third world countries. And that's what we will become if this does indeed take place. One question. I'm not going to debate with you the Georgia thing. I don't think it's the same thing. I think the former president put himself uh, in that trouble. And we'll see what proof they have and what that is. But I do not see the two as connected. But it's not worthy of debate. Um, here's what I don't understand. If Michael Cohen pleaded guilty to a campaign finance crime, for making the payment for Trump to Stormy Daniels. How is the former president not equally responsible? Well, he actually pleaded guilty to a non-crime. There wasn't actually a crime if you look at the law legally. And I think you kind of suggested why he did so is because they had plenty of other stuff unrelated to President Trump on Michael Cohen that they could have gone after him. And that's why he did it. They don't have any evidence. And you know why I know that? The Mueller witch hunt where they had 18 Democrats, you know, scouring, you know, $40 million, scouring everything in President Trump's life. They looked at this. They knew they couldn't bring any charges. So, I mean, and again, this would be a federal case, not a state one. So the whole thing is a complete joke, but they don't care. They really only have one move against President Trump. He's leading in all the polls and it's election interference. They have to try to take down President Trump because they know he's going to beat them. And he's the only one that can beat them. He's the only one that threatens their corrupt power. And he's the only one who stands for the American people. And again, that's why they're going after him. He's the leader of the most powerful political movement in American history. He's standing in the way of them taking over this country and completely turning it into a communist hellhole. And President Trump's not going to let that happen. But that's why they go after him so viciously and lawlessly. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.